Hey guys, Alex here from SketchUp School. Welcome to another Office Hours. Today's question, what's the deal with SketchUp extensions? SketchUp users of all levels are constantly reaching out to us asking us questions about SketchUp extensions. These are questions like, what are they? How much do they cost? Which ones do you recommend? How do I get them? And once I have them, how do I use them? So today, I'll dive into these questions and give you the rundown on everything you need to know about SketchUp extensions. Okay, first things first, and you may already know this, but just as a quick primer, what are SketchUp extensions? Well, it's kind of like how your smartphone is full of different apps that help you with different tasks. Extensions are like extra apps or tools that you can add on that run inside of SketchUp and help you solve different problems. Some extensions perform a single function, so they're pretty easy to get the hang of. Others come with multiple tools and menus, so they can solve more complicated problems, but it's also like learning an entirely new piece of software inside of SketchUp. As you create your models, it's always important to understand the fundamentals of how SketchUp's native tools can get you the results you're after. But at some point, you'll run into a situation where you'll think to yourself, there must be a better or faster way to do this. And oftentimes there is. When you stumble on the right extension for your problem, it can blow you away how much time it can save you. Let's look at a quick example. Stairs can be a challenging problem, even for experienced SketchUp users especially when you get to complex systems with switchbacks or spirals. Well, guess what? There are extensions out there that can simplify this painstaking process down to just a few clicks. And there are also SketchUp extensions that help you do things that aren't even possible using SketchUp's native tools. A good example of this is V-Ray for SketchUp. It's a powerful extension that allows you to add realistic lighting and materials to your model. Don't worry, I'll talk more later about the extensions I recommend, but first, let's finish going over the basics. Now that you know the what, let's talk about the how. How do I get extensions? Where do I find them? And how much do they cost? Some extensions are free and others you pay for. And their prices can range from just a few dollars all the way up to over a thousand dollars. Some will cost a one-time fee and others will be a monthly or yearly subscription. In general, the larger the SketchUp problem you're trying to solve with an extension or the more features it has, the more the extension will cost. But keep in mind, often these extensions will be saving you dozens, if not hundreds of hours over time, or allow you to create things in SketchUp that you simply couldn't do otherwise. So you'll have to balance the cost versus the value you're getting out of each. In terms of how to find extensions, if you do a simple Google search for the specific SketchUp problem you're trying to solve, you should find results that will lead you directly to the extension developer's website, where typically you can download their extension or often find a free trial version. There are two other primary places to find SketchUp extensions, SketchUp's Extension Warehouse and SketchUcation.com. The Extension Warehouse can actually be launched from inside of SketchUp under the Extension menu. From there, you can search, download, and install extensions directly. You can also access the Extension Warehouse through a traditional web browser. If you do that or use SketchUcation or an individual developer's website, you'll end up downloading a .rbz file. To install it, you'll want to go into SketchUp under the Extensions menu and select Extension Manager. Click the Install Extension button and find the .rbz file you just downloaded. For some extensions, you might need to restart SketchUp for them to be ready to use. All right, now that you've got the extension installed, how do you use it? That will vary depending on the extension. Some extensions will give you new sets of tools that you can access under the View menu under Toolbars or Tool Palettes. Others will give you new options under the Extensions menu or elsewhere, like in a right-click drop-down menu. Check out the documentation for the specific extension you've installed, and then I always recommend experimenting with some simple examples first, before diving into using it in the context of a full-blown project that you might be working on, so you can get the hang of how the extension works and avoid any frustrating mistakes that might go unnoticed or be harder to undo in a real project. So what are my top most recommended extensions? There are so many extensions out there that tackle all types of time-consuming, difficult, or otherwise impossible SketchUp tasks, from creating roofs, to terrain, to creating stunning visualizations. Far too many to list in any one video. And I would recommend different ones to different people, depending on the project or problem that they're working on. So the best way for me to recommend extensions is actually for you to send me a message. I've added a contact link in the description. Or just ask us in the comments below and I'd be happy to let you know what I think is best for your particular situation. And if you wanna know which extensions I recommend most often and why, then check out the videos in this playlist. 
If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you've got a SketchUp topic you want me to cover in a future office hours, tell us in the comments below. Until next time, happy sketching.